This video shows how to use Narcan nasal spray to reverse an opioid overdose, including ones caused by the powerful drug, fentanyl. The video not only describes how to help someone, but also how to keep yourself safe. Hello there. Greetings, relatives. We're here to talk about an opioid overdose, including ones caused by the powerful drug, fentanyl. How to recognize if someone is overdosing how to act quickly, and how to protect yourself. Opioids like fentanyl, which is 50 to 100 times stronger than heroin, often cause overdoses. Plus, fentanyl gets secretly added to many drugs, so many people don't even realize that they're taking it. This makes fentanyl dangerous and more likely to result in overdose. Using the nasal spray version of the medication, naloxone, aka Narcan or Cluxado, is the quickest way to help someone overdose on opioids, including fentanyl. But how do you know if someone is overdosing on opioids? Signs of an opioid overdose include falling asleep or not conscious, slow breathing or no breathing, small pupils, limp body, cold, clammy, pale skin, blue fingernails or lips, choking, snoring, or gurgling sounds. It is uncommon to be harmed while helping someone who's overdosing, even if they are overdosing on fentanyl. So jump into action if you think someone's overdosing by following these five steps. Step one, call 911. Step two, Administer naloxone nasal spray. Start by placing your thumb on the bottom of the plunger and two fingers on the sides of the nozzle. Place the tip of the nozzle in either nostril until your two fingers touch the bottom of the person's nose. Press the plunger firmly to release the medicine into the person's nose. If they don't respond in at least two minutes, Give another dose in the other nostril. If the person has taken fentanyl, it may take up to four to five doses or more of naloxone, rotating between nostrils to reverse the overdose. Step three, if needed, provide rescue breaths or CPR if you know how. Step four, lay the person on their side to prevent choking. Step five, stay with the person until emergency responders arrive. If you forgot to call 911, call now. Keep in mind, after 30 to 90 minutes, naloxone may wear off and the person may start to overdose again. If help takes longer than expected and the individual becomes unresponsive and stops breathing again, more naloxone may be required. If you come upon someone overdosing, and you have gloves and a mask, use them to be extra safe. However, breathing in a small amount of fentanyl or getting powdered fentanyl on your skin will not harm you. Dry powdered fentanyl is not absorbed by the skin. Your skin will only absorb powdered fentanyl if it's mixed with a liquid. If you get fentanyl on you and your clothes, to protect yourself and others, you should go outside and brush off as much as you can. Do not touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. These areas can absorb fentanyl more easily. Wash with a lot of water. If fentanyl powder is on your skin, you want to use a lot of water to dilute it. And as soon as you get the chance, wash your clothes. To get naloxone, contact your local tribal clinic, IHS facility, or visit your local pharmacy. If you have trouble accessing naloxone, email naloxone at npaihb.org. We can heal our communities through educating ourselves, supporting each other, and accepting help when we need it.
Text OPIOIDS at 94449 to receive videos, quizzes, facts, and more to grow your knowledge about opioids. And visit the Northwest Portland Area Indian Health Board's website at www.npaihb.org slash opioid to learn more about treatments, reversing an overdose, and other important topics.